the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, it's made me a better Although, driver. Uh, one time, in a in a fight, in a martial arts fight, I knocked this guy out. He never got up, <clears throat> and I I started thinking that that could be me. Because they, they took him away to the hospital, mm. and uh, I went back to talk to my instructor, and he wasn't there. It was in Anaheim, California, and I was living in Boston. We flew back to Boston after the tournament, and he uh, and he said to me, I heard you had a really good knockout, you know, with his thick Korean accent. And uh, I said, yeah. I go, it was um, it was really scary because he never got up. I go, I, mean, it was, I thought he was dead. And he goes, sometimes they die. Jesus. And he just walked away. Like, he used to train troops in Vietnam. Like, he was, like, an intense guy. And I was like, sometimes they die. Holy shit, I'm them. Them is me. Whoa. Like, I could die. I was 19. And I remember, I never thought about it the same way again. I never, I never thought about hitting someone the same way again. Because it was one of those, but, like, sometimes you hit someone, and it's, like, a perfect shot. Like, the, you hit him. They were running it. He was running he was coming at me and I kicked him with something called a wheel kick we, it has a, a crazy amount of power you spin around and you hit someone with the heel of your foot it's a hard my heel hurt for days Jesus. I was limping walking from hitting his head yeah it was rough have you ever been hit in a way that you're like, like that. that could be no. no 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 I've been dropped and I've been rocked and I've definitely been hit but I've never been knocked unconscious and not like that that was a bad one he was like face he face planted he was snoring I've seen a lot of people get knocked out. Like Did you that, have you though. checked on him recently? <laughs> I have no idea who he is. Wow. I've no I've no idea what happened to him. You I gave no him idea. CTE probably. 100%. Murdered his whole family at this point. No. A hundred percent. He got brain damage. Sh what? Hundred percent. What? Hundred percent. Whoa, Joe. There's no way he didn't. Oh my god. There's no way he didn't. But could that happen to you? Of course, it could have happened. Absolutely. Could I mean, it happen to you now in no, the way that you're fighting? I don't do it anymore. I do jujitsu now. Right. But jujitsu is not striking. Jujitsu is not, it's not like kick, kick. And this was not like sparring. This was a fight. Mm. This was in the U.S. Nationals. Wow. I was the Massachusetts state champion and he was a champion. I think he was from Illinois. <clears throat> and so he was the Illinois state champion. Did and you get horrible. like so much pussy back then from being like no. from winning fights where they're like no. groupies no there was no groupies no no i got the opposite of pussy i was always training i, I wasn't doing oh, anything yeah yeah i wouldn't even have sex with my girlfriend in the the, the dojo i wouldn't like she because I, it was sacred I, yeah, and I, was, you... I was teaching there so like once she was horny and she was trying to hook up with me and like i was i had to go up there to do something clean or something i forget what i had to do but she was trying to, I'm like, I can't, like, don't. Like, this is not, we can't do this here. Like, this is not, this is never going to happen here. Which is like, I would fuck her in an alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> I would have fucked her on a bus if no one was looking. But not in the yeah, dojo. Not there. No. It's actually in Korean. It's called dojang. They would call it dojang. But um, no, I didn't get any pussy. I mean, other than my girlfriend at the time. And then when you start comedy, like so much. Yeah. Dude, that it's was, crazy. That was the crazy thing. It's like like all of a sudden girls actually like me. Like instead of me liking them and them rejecting me. Because I was basically a loser. You know, even though I was like a successful martial artist, I had no money and no future prospects. And there was no promise to me. You know, it's like, where's this guy going? 